What's good, everybody? Welcome back to TWR. My name is Tavian. This is my world of reptiles, and I hope y'all are all doing awesome and taking care of yourselves. So I'm here at work. I'm here a little bit early and getting ready to open the store in like 30 minutes. Uh, but I want to kind of walk around and show you some of the cool display cases we've got going on right now. We've been doing a lot of just improvements with our store, uh, just like moving stuff around, getting things organized and all the stuff. And we've gotten a lot of different enclosures in. We've got a lot of new Zen habitats in, which we started to carry. Um, and and so one of the first ones we did, we got in, we put up, and we displayed, and we have them up uh, as a set of as display cases. So, like, animals that are not for sale, just really nicely set up. And I'm really loving that we have these now, just animals that are going to be consistently here and regularly on display. So I want to walk around and kind of show you a little bit of what's going on in the store. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around, walk around and show you what we got, talk a little bit about whatever animals are inside of the things, um, and then just kind of uh, let you go. I'm not going to do a long video. just want to show these off because they're looking really good and they're totally deserving of being shared so go ahead and put this camera around real yeah yeah all right look at this we got a lot we got so many darn enclosures in recently so many enclosures i don't know if these are all supposed to be at this one store they may have to be like move like shift throughout the three different stores but gosh dang so many enclosures my goodness my phone is having a hard time focusing with the different lighting uh in this store uh but yeah let's move on let's move on let's go on over here we're gonna start with this one right here this one oh gosh there is a lot of blare behind me let's see uh, nope, that's not helpful. Well, I apologize about the blare, but yeah, this one here is holding some gargoyles. I believe, I think there might be three gargoyles in here. Let's see if I can open this up to just kind of lose some of this glare. And this is one of those Zen habitats here. As you can see, it's an arboreal one. Looks really good. I like these latches that you just kind of turn. Just kind of turn to open. It's good to go. Uh, but yeah, so that is the inside here. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. So that's the inside. I'm really liking that statue in the back. Crested gecko, I mean the gargoyle gecko sometimes like to hang out in here. Are there any in there? None in there right now? Nope, nope, nope. I don't even know where they are. <laughs> There's one. There's one squished down there between that pot. And I think there's two more in here, maybe. But yeah, it's uh there's uh two females and I think and a male in there. So yeah, those are our gargoyle geckos. Close that back like so. Boom. All right, and moving on over, we got this display case over here, this enclosure here, uh, and this has emerald tree skinks. You can see one hanging out up there on the branch. These are really cool little fun creatures, dude. Oh my gosh, look at this one. <laughs> Upside down, pulling the Spider-Man. Upside down, pulling the Spider-Man. <laughs> I really like seeing these little creatures run around. But yeah, Tara, uh, who was one of the owners of the store, really just gets into really setting up these enclosures. She just, really, it's, it's just, she just vibes with it. She enjoys doing it. It's just her thing. So I'm really liking how she's got this one set up. I like this big tall plant there in the back. And just like all the foliage that's happening in here, just how naturalistic it looks. It's just, it's so awesome to just have this be some one of the first things that people see when they walk into the store. It's just super sick and I really like it a lot. So yeah, them is the Emerald Tree Skinks. So let's see, it's moving on over, moving on over. Here's the store, we got a lot of plants in. Lots and lots and lots of plants. Well, we've had more. We're getting, getting pretty low. So let's see, let's go over here. Over here has a motley sun tiger apparently motley sun tiger reticulated python this used to have a bearded dragon in it but i guess they moved it and i don't know where that little body is he's probably up underneath one of these logs here somewhere uh but yeah so this is one of those display cases too it is also one of those zen habitats all the places i'm about to show you here after are all going to be kind of zen habitats so i mean they're just i really like these enclosures like they're really just durable they look really good you know they're not that traditional just black i just they look sleek and just nice i really dig it you can really just make something just look really naturalistic and beautiful display happening in here this one's pretty simple but you know you, just, you have so much potential that you could do with something like that down there we have one that has got a ball python in it i think it might have a pair maybe it's just one right now i think there might be a breeding pair that's paired up in there I could be very much so wrong, but oh no, there's definitely a breeding pair. There's uh, there's one there, and then there's another one over there. So they are a breeding pair matched up right now uh, for breeding. So, but yeah, that's one. 
whoops, stop the video, my bad. So this is the one we have ball pythons in, and it's looking really great as well. So yeah, just another one of those display enclosures coming on over here to some of the best ones we got. So this, this whole thing here, all of this. Now the one I just showed you is a four by two by two. This is two of those four by two by twos put together, making one big eight by two by two enclosure. And inside of here we have a very big and beautiful, I think he's a male, male boa. Can't see him much in there. He's all cupped in tight. When I miss it, you'll see him. He'll probably come out. I'll try to get some footage and just add it in at the end of the video. But, yeah, so that has got him in there. He's a big boy, and he's got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of room to move in here. I'm really, really liking this. Again, those Zen Habitats, they do amazing things and affordable, you know, not super, super expensive. Um, and, yeah, they, they can be attached together to make one big enclosure if you need it, which is super awesome. Moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. We got another one down here at the end. Boom, this one also has a ball python in it. I think it just has the one, though. It's that beautiful beast over there. Yeah, just another one. Another one of those beautiful Zen habitats, naturalistic setup, looking good, looking good. Then we got this beautiful one over here. It's another one of those arboreal ones, only it's a bit longer. I think it's a four by two by four maybe uh, i'm not 100 percent sure on the measurements but definitely another arboreal one just a bigger one than the other one and this one here is housing the crested geckos there are uh i think maybe two crested geckos in here yes because there were three and one of them was a bully and has moved somewhere else but there are two crested geckos in here and you can see one up here on the top of this here plant boom there he is yeah there he is it is the boy too i believe yep and then the other one is right and so oh, no there are two in here there's three there's three in here so the other one is right there or the other two are in there all folded together in there they're super cute or maybe there's three. I don't really know how many cargo geckos are in here, but or uh, crested geckos. But yeah, that's a really nice setup here for them. Lots of space, lots of plants. As you can just see, there's just so much potential with these Zen habitats and just how good they look as opposed to that traditional black. Like, I mean, they're just so bright and you can see things. I really love them. I love them a lot. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm excited to get mine done at home and share that with y'all when I finally get to it. So moving on moving on we got another one of those eight by two by two setups here all done up looking good looking good and this one is housing this big beast right here she has been going through some rough healthy stuff but she is looking better now she is on the mend she's doing great she's eating and she just is enjoying all the space that she has in here now. She's just a big girl with lots and lots of space. So again, that is a eight foot by two foot by two foot enclosure. So two of the four by twos by twos put together. So absolutely stunning. So much potential. Naturalistic. Beautiful job. As always, that's what Tara does. She does really good jobs with these enclosure setups. So I'm really, really liking that. All right, so I don't think we have really any more, like, display, display enclosures. Yeah, everything else is just kind of the animals that we have in the store, just on, you know, just the ones that we have on the shelves here that are all for sale. Nothing super special happening there. I mean, they do look nice, but they're not as nice as our display cases because those are just always going to be here, and we definitely want those to just, like, really just have something, something to pop, makes our store just pop. And so, I mean, they're looking great. Tara's doing a really great job on those. I'm sure they'll get, we'll get a few more. She's got this plan for this centerpiece and I'm not sure if it's completely done yet uh, but this whole thing here is new all these enclosures that all happened in the last I think week or two so like oh, two weeks but that's a couple of weeks and so like that's that's awesome and I'm not sure how much more she's gonna do with that she might even get more like you see how these two are stacked here she might do that same thing with the other side of this with the eight by four or the eight by two by twos and go higher there and just make that a whole just like island that would take a two two a two two tier island 
there. So, I mean, that's that's super sick. It's definitely one of my favorite parts of the store when she told me she was going to do that. I was like, yes, that's going to look so awesome. Um, it'll especially look really cool, like, you know, by the time that Sunfire gets, it, you know, it's probably, it's for sale. It's probably going to get sold before it gets big enough, but maybe we'll get a retick that ends up being one of those, like, big 8 by 2 by 2 things that gets stacked on top or something. But, uh, yeah, so, anyway, that's all. Don't want to make this video a super long one. Just want to show those off to you because they're super cool uh, and they totally deserve to be shown off. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video, get myself together, make sure I have everything ready to start and get ready to open the door here in, like, 20 minutes. So, you all take care. Love yourselves. Love your loved ones. Love your reptiles. And you all keep spreading those herbs. Thank you.